The JWST is a space observatory and a successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. Its main goals are to explore the cosmos in the infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum, enabling it to see through dust clouds and distant objects with amazing clarity. It's designed to examine various scientific problems, such as galaxy creation, star formation, the hunt for habitable planets, and the beginning of life. Since its launch, the JWST has proven to be a huge technical development that has completely altered our knowledge of the cosmos by producing magnificent photographs and making important scientific discoveries. The team recently announced the first ever real image of another mind-blowing world, so stay tuned to learn all about this shocking discovery. For the first time, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has allowed astronomers to capture an authentic image of a planet outside our solar system. This exoplanet, HIP 65426b, has a mass ranging from 6 to 12 times that of Jupiter. The latest observations could potentially provide further details about its mass. It is a youthful planet, having been around for 15 to 20 million years, compared to our 4.5 billion year old Earth. The world was initially found in 2017 by astronomers using the SPHERE instrument on the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile. Photos of it were taken using short infrared wavelengths of light. Webb's vision shows new features at longer infrared wavelengths that ground-based telescopes could not detect due to the intrinsic infrared light of Earth's atmosphere. The exoplanet is a gas giant, which means it lacks a stony surface and cannot support life. The picture, captured using four distinct light filters, demonstrates how Webb's strong infrared vision can readily catch worlds outside our solar system paving the way for future surveys that will disclose more information about exoplanets than ever before. Researchers have been studying the data from these observations and are developing a report for peer review in publications. However, Webb's initial capture of an exoplanet suggests a future potential for investigating faraway planets. This is a watershed moment, not just for Webb, but for astronomy in general said Sasha Hinckley, Associate Professor of Physics and Astronomy at the University of Exeter in the United Kingdom, who coordinated the observations with extensive international collaboration. Webb can clearly distinguish the planet from the star in the image because HIP 65426b is about 100 times further from its host star than Earth is from the Sun. Coronographs, or tiny masks that block out starlight, are features of NIRCAM and MIRI, enabling Webb to take direct pictures of exoplanets like this one. NASA is the project's international coordinator. It was imposing how well the Webb coronographs worked to suppress the host starlight, stated Hinckley because stars are far brighter than planets. Taking direct photographs of exoplanets is difficult. The JWST will be substantially more powerful than prior telescopes. It can view the earliest galaxies, investigate exoplanet atmospheres, and examine star and planetary system formation in unparalleled detail. Although NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope is scheduled to launch later this decade, it will have a more sophisticated coronagraph. The James Webb Space Telescope has four primary scientific instruments, the NIRCAM, the NIRSPEC, MIRI, and the FGS NIRISS. These devices allow for various observations, including imaging, spectroscopy, and coronography. The JWST is the most prominent space telescope ever constructed, with a primary mirror that is 21.3 feet in diameter, over three times that of Hubble. It features a segmented mirror that unfolds after launch to fit into the Ariane 5 rocket bearing. The JWST features a five-layered sun shield comprised of a substance that reflects and disappears the sun's radiation to protect the telescope from the heat of the sun. The sun shield will maintain the telescope at very low temperatures, which will be required for infrared investigations. In the near infrared, the HIP 65426b planet is more than 10,000 times fainter than its host star, and just a few thousand times fainter in the mid infrared. The planet appears as a slightly different shaped blob of light in each picture. This is due to the specifics of Webb's optical system and how it converts light via various optics. Aaron Carter, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of California, Santa Cruz, described obtaining the image as though she was searching for treasure in space. Initially, the star's light obscured any view of the planet. However, with meticulous image processing, she managed to eliminate the star's light and reveal the planet. While HIP 65426b is not the first direct picture of an exoplanet seen from space, 
The Hubble telescope has already recorded explicit planetary photographs. It does pave the way for Webb's extraterrestrial investigation. I think what's most captivating is that we have only just begun, Carter said. Many more images of exoplanets will be released in the future shaping our overall understanding of their physics, chemistry and formation. We could possibly find previously undiscovered worlds. A previous study using NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, another space-based observatory deployed in 2018 designed to hunt for exoplanets, suggested that this system may include a planetary candidate. Observations taken by JWST in August and September 2022 confirmed the planet's existence. The James Webb Space Telescope has also identified an exoplanet LHS-475b, an Earth-sized rocky planet. Just 41 light-years distant, the planet revolves extraordinarily close to a tiny faint star, completing a complete orbit in only two days. The finding, reported at the American Astronomical Society conference, is noteworthy since most exoplanets identified are huge gas giants like Jupiter. Most telescopes struggle to discover Earth-like planets because they are tiny, less than a tenth of the diameter. The fact that JWST detected this planet suggests that it will be able to discover additional Earth-like planets in the future. Furthermore, it should be able to identify their atmospheres, something other telescopes cannot achieve with planets of this size. The results from the observatory are stunning, according to colleague Erin May. We can readily identify various molecules with the telescope's high sensitivity. Still, because of this, we can't yet draw any firm conclusions about the planet's atmosphere. The paper also shows us how successful JWST is in finding exoplanets. Our measurements meet the sensitivity requirements for detecting the atmospheres of Earth-sized planets, even though we do not detect an atmosphere in this case. It's a really exciting moment. Lustig Jaeger said, We are just beginning to scratch the surface of JWST's potential. Even though JWST should be able to identify exoplanet atmospheres, the job still needs to be completed. Because exoplanets are considerably smaller than stars and emit much less light, they are seldom directly observed. Instead, astronomers examine host stars for minor changes in brightness or motion that suggest the existence of a planet circling them. Given these circumstances, JWST will most likely only be able to detect the atmosphere of rocky planets orbiting relatively tiny stars, known as red dwarfs, according to Lustig Jaeger. In some aspects, this is beneficial for the search for habitable planets since these rocky worlds are comparable in size to Earth. However, they are much hotter since these planets orbit far closer to their stars than Earth. When a planet gets so near to its host star, the star's heat and radiation may take away its atmosphere. They also examined its atmosphere using a technique known as transmission spectroscopy. Although they couldn't establish what the atmosphere was, they were able to rule out many possibilities. According to the results, the planet has neither a hydrogen-dominated atmosphere like Jupiter nor a pure methane atmosphere. It might have a dense carbon dioxide atmosphere like Venus, or it could have no atmosphere at all, having been stripped of its atmosphere by its star. Much modern exoplanet research is aimed at understanding the atmosphere of exoplanets. Astronomers must examine the atmospheres of planets to better determine whether they are habitable, since this may significantly influence characteristics like surface temperature. At the AAS convention, lead researcher Jacob Lustig Jaeger from the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory stated that the search for life on exoplanets will heavily depend on the in-depth analysis of exoplanet atmospheres in the coming years and decades. Detecting the presence of these atmospheres is the initial step towards achieving this goal. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.